Hello, you're welcome. It's Henry the Computer Guy, and this is lesson number four. Having identified for me all those components, I think we can continue with that. Identifying the I, the C, and the T in some of the components that we have identified actually. So they're telling us that think of uh, this scenario and you identify the I, the C, and the T. They are telling us that imagine Mr. Kaboyo making a telephone call to his mother from Kadijalia to send her New Year greetings. So that means that Mr. Kaboyo and the mother are communicating using a mobile phone. And Mr. Kaboyo wants to send her mother the New Year greetings. So in this case, Mr. Kaboyo and his mother are communicating using technology. So remember, in this case, the technology we are talking about is going to be the hardware we are using. So in this case, the mobile phones they are actually using is the technology. So we have identified that T. And information is the New Year greetings. What is Mr. Kaboyo telling the mother? is actually the information. What are you actually telling me? You have made a call to me. What are you telling me? That is the information you are telling me or communicating about. Then how does the information reach me? Is it either using wireless or wired connection? Is it using wired or wireless connection? So, how are we communicating? So, we are going to be identifying the I, the C, and the T in some of the components that we have looked at. And they are telling us that ICT can be compared with other systems. Let us compare ICT and our water system. So imagine a water system comprising of water tanks, water, taps, pipes, and water moving through the pipes. This can be related to ICT as follows. Remember, when something is physical, it is hardware. We can touch it and feel it. So this side they have given us the water system and this side they have given us the ICT and they are telling us that the taps, the water tank and the pipes refer to technology in ICT. So that means that everything that is going to be physical and tangible in ICT, we shall be terming it as the technology. Are we together? Anything that someone can touch and feel, it is a hardware. We shall be terming it as a technology. Then when we come back to the water system, the water in the tank, remember it's the one which is going to be flowing to all the pipes, for example, to go to the bathroom, to go to the kitchen, and other places. So the water in the tank, is actually going to be the information in the ICT. What do you want to tell me? What exactly do you want to put across? It is actually the information you want to communicate to a group of people. Then when we come back to the side of our water system, the water flowing through the pipes on the side of ICT is actually going to be communication. How does it flow from one location to another? It passes through the, pa the pipes. Then on our side of ICT, that is actually going to be the communication. I have two devices. I have a phone here. The other person has a phone. I want to transfer a song from one phone to another. How is the song going to travel from my phone to the other person's phone? I can either use a cable, I can either use wireless, for example, I can use Bluetooth, I can use 
infrared to send that song from my computer to someone's phone. Oh, I want to get a song from my phone. Oh, I downloaded some information using my phone, but I want to put them onto my laptop at home. How am I going to put them there? I can send them via Bluetooth, or I can get my USB cable. I connect my phone. I transfer the data to my laptop. That is actually what we have. We have the technology, the information, and the communication. We continue. So they are telling us that ICT is electronic while a water system is mechanical. That means that ICT is an electronic component. We need power to use the components. They have to be powered, either using electricity or battery powered. But they are electronic. They use electricity. Whereas a water system is mechanical. Let's continue. So we have an activity here, which is activity 1.1, and it is all about the meaning of ICT. They're actually giving us a question. They're telling us that in groups, look around your school or your community and identify at least the three ICTs familiar to you. State the function of each of the ICTs identified in the table below. If you're now at home, look at your home, identify the ICTs. In your community, identify the ICTs. You at school, identify the ICTs that are familiar to you. So they have given us a table. That means that they want us to get the ICT tool, we give the function. What is it used for? So I gave you some examples here. For example, we have a camera. What do we use a camera for? We use it for taking photographs. We have a projector. We use this one in class to make projection for the bigger audience. Remember, when I have my laptop and you many in class, I cannot use my only laptop for everyone to see everything that I'm talking about. So I'll use a projector to display bigger images for the bigger audience. Have a mobile phone as number two or number three. For making calls, you can send an SMS to your friend using that phone. You can chat using either Facebook, WhatsApp, and other applications. We have a laptop. We can use this one for typing documents, playing videos, playing video games also for entertainment, listening to music. We have a printer. We can use it to print out items on papers. You have the information on a computer, but you want to turn it into something that is tangible. That is a hard copy. When it is still on your computer, it is termed as a soft copy. Information that is visual, visually seen. It is still on a computer. We call that one a soft copy. When you get to print it on a paper, it becomes a hard copy that exists permanently. Even if you have power or not, you'll be able to use the hard copy. But for the case of soft copy, you cannot access it when your computer is powered off. We continue. You're still on activity 1.1. And number two, they are telling us that select two ICTs from figure 1.1. Remember, we saw those figures where we had the Wi-Fi, the mobile phone, the microwave, the satellite dish, the smart TV. So they are telling us to select any two ICTs from that figure and identify the information they handle, the nature of communication that takes place, and the technology they use. Then number three, with the available ICT tool, practice using it and identify the I, the C, and the T in it. For example, you have a projector, you identify the I, the C, the T. You have a camera, you 
identify the three items there. For example, I did for you an example here. I got a projector. I had I wanted to identify what we call the eye. What information does a projector handle? A projector handles pictures. It can handle slides. It can handle documents. It can handle even the videos. You connect it to your laptop or to your computer. You display it for the audience to see the videos. So that is the information that it can handle. It is the. Then what communication exists? The connection between a computer and a projector can be either wired or wireless. How can it be wired? For example, you want to connect a computer, a laptop to a projector. You can get what we call a VGA cable, video graphics array cable. Connect it to your computer, you connect it to the projector. Then it will give out that image that you feel you want. Of your laptop, it's having what we call an HDMI cable, high definition multimedia interface cable. You can use it as well to connect your projector to your computer. But remember, the HDMI is better than the VGA because it can actually transfer sound and video at the same time, whereas the VGA only transfers the video. Have we got the difference between the VGA and the HDMI? The HDMI, you have ever seen, uh, for example, you have TVs at home, you connect, let's say, your decoder to your TV. So you use that cable. That cable you can actually use there instead of the banana pennies. You can use the HDMI, high definition multimedia interface, because it can transfer both sound and video at the same time. Then let's identify the T in this. The lens, because it uses the projector, uses a lens to take that image onto that bigger BB for the audience to see. Then the type of projector type and its specification. Which type of projector are you actually using? Are you using an LED projector, light emitting diode projector, or any other? So it can as well tell us the specification. For example, the lumens of that projector, the measure of the amount of light that the projector gives out. That is the lumens. So you can add on and other items that you can actually look at the projector or see from the projector. So in this next slide, I want you to try for me out yours. You're actually going to practice using a selected ICT tool. You name the tool. You're going to identify for me the I. You're going to identify for me the C. And you will be able to identify for me the T. So thank you for watching. It's been Henry the Computer Guy. Don't forget to subscribe and share the link to your other friends. Bye-bye. I sign out.